I got a green screen. <laughs> anyway, breaking news. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's, What's the procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Hi, I'm Kelly Rowan. Welcome to the Row Report with Pride of Detroit. Well, it happened. Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia have been relieved of their duties. First of all, through God, all things are possible, so jot that down. I just have so many memes and videos and clips saved up for this moment. I'm all flustered. Anyways, it's never a good thing when someone loses their job, but it was time. Quinn served as general manager since 2016. In his time, the Lions went 31, 43, and 1. Patricia took over in 2018 and went 13, 29, and 1. I will do everything I can to put a winning team on the field for our fans in the city of Detroit. Unfortunately, we haven't won enough over the last three seasons, and our efforts to find the right leadership for the Lions begins today. When it was announced in December 2019 that Quinn Trisha would stay another year, the Fords gave them an ultimatum. The Lions must be playing meaningful games in December. Well, as you're well aware, the Lions struggled again this year and suffered one final embarrassing loss on Thanksgiving on a national stage, no less, before Sheila Ford Hamp took action. We can't hide our past, that's for sure. Um, but I think, you know, uh, I'm very dedicated to turning this ship around and really making a, a difference. In light of a pandemic and a fiery election that both made us learn way too much about our family's problematic stances on things, it's nice to see something can bring us all together. 2020 is healing. But let's take a moment and honor the past. From that standpoint, 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 from that standpoint. After news of the firings broke, Lions players, both former and current, weighed in. The petty um, was rampant. I'm petty, 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 I'm petty. Darius Slate naturally had a field day. Ashawn Robinson had something to say. I'm petty, I'm petty, I'm petty. A comment from Ziggy Ansa And Stephen Tulloch. Oh, and Eric Ebron. Mm, text as long as you can manage not to drop the phone. <laughs> Why do you said that? Dang it, he's probably gonna angry tweet at me, isn't he? And Glover Quinn with some emojis per ESPN's Mike Rothstein. Then I went to check on Quandre Diggs, unrelated to the firing, but he's not wrong. Good morning, my neighbors! Hey, you! Yes! Yes! F you too! The Lions announced the personnel change on their official Instagram. Chris Burke of The Athletic noticed, is that... Is that a like from Kenny Galladay? You'll remember Mr. Galladay is waiting on a contract extension. We turn live now to Kenny Galladay after hearing about the firings. Look at me. Up and about. Speaking of petty, Lions Nation to celebrate the firings came together for a good cause. That is, donating to Deshaun Watson's foundation to thank him for embarrassing the team into the firings. Then, naturally, I turned to Twitter to ask the Lions community how they were feeling about all the news. There were positive Pollies, the negative Nancys, then there was this. Get out. We now know that the interim job goes to offensive coordinator Daryl Bevel, but many were calling for special teams coordinator Braden Coombs. Now what's next for the franchise? We don't know, but Sheila Ford Hamp says she's on the job. I want to do the right thing by this organization and, and that's the bottom line. In the meantime, the latest chat with Daryl Bevel might leave you with a little bit of hope. I'm gonna be at my best and I hope what that is, is, is bringing out the best in them, that you'll see a difference in them. Uh, you'll see a difference in their play. You'll see a difference in really, hopefully, everything. And, uh, and that will be enough for us. Yeah, I don't know. And with that, this has been The Row Report. I'm Kelly Rowe with Pride of Detroit. Thanks for watching. <laughs>